Hey everyone, Merrick here, and we're back in the wonderful world of Infinity Wars, and it's time to open a whole bunch of crap that I've gotten over the past couple of days for leveling up and for daily challenge stuff. So let's go to the inventory and do that. I don't know what that is. Opening 50 LP. Woo! 50 Lightmare points have been added to your account. Yay! Hoping 750 IP. Look at that. Ah, uh, the deck. Okay, so we have a collection booster pack. Success! Ooh, we got a gold. All right. Uh, Undisturbed Monk. The end of the turn. If Undisturbed Monk is in the support zone, it gains a plus six. Otherwise, its power is reset to base value. Ooh. A bounty hunter. Deals double damage to humans. Oh, he's got a little head there. Well, that's lovely. Taunt. I've got your head. I've got your head. Target character in opponent's support zone is moved to that player's defense zone. Interesting. And hilarious art. And we know that one. Caretaker of the young. Deployed characters. They get a 4-4 beast. Docile panda. Hello, panda. Wow, you could take a shitload of damage. That's awesome. Uh, field Engineer. At the end of the turn, if Field Engineer is in the defense zone, Field Engineer repairs your fortress for 5 damage. Oh, that's cool. Bury. Uh, target character in your deck costs 8 or less is sent to the graveyard. Burden of Command. Target character in the command zone has its resource cost increased by 2. Okay, so we can make something really expensive. We know that one. If Blazing Swarmer is deployed, all insectoids you control have charge. I really kind of want to do a bug deck, sort of like the um, Slivers deck from Magic. For some reason, I love Slivers decks, and so I think a, bl a bug deck would be a lot of fun. A lot of collecting to do to get there, though. There's a drone. Uh, Vanish Vanishu's Wrath. Yanishu's? Not Yanishu's Wrath? Whatever. All characters take four damage. Okay, blue... Crystal of Madness. If you have no cards in your hand at the end of the turn, draw a card. Oh, that's nice. And then... Um, Flying Cheryl deals damage to player's fortress. She removes the top five cards from that player's graveyard from the game. Wow. She is just like an anti-zombie um, deck. And then this guy... Kung G, the glorious strategist. Whenever a character you control blocks, that character moves to the back of the defense zone at the end of each turn. Kung G, the glorious strategist, lowers your opponent's morale by one for each deployed character you control that took damage this turn. Holy crap, that's amazing. And I love the character art. Alright, let's open this gold thingy. Oh, it's an IP XP boost. You've redeemed Infinity Points and Experience Booster. This booster will grant you 100% for 24 hours. Sweet! Alright. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to get ready for our battle with Good by um, testing out these decks against bots. Because I don't have a lot of time because it's Monday. So it's it's um, well, it's um time for, for meetings. These are all the same decks we had last time. Okay, we'll play that one. You're screwed now, Mr. AI opponent. I really wish the AI opponents were a little bit better. I think that it, it would be more fun that way. All right, we're going to start with the flying dude. Get that out. And then we'll start with that guy. Put the flying dude in the assault zone. And take three damage. Okay, ooh. Flame strike five flying. Characters killed. Kelly is removed from the game. Oh. She just wipes people off the board, literally. Nice. Alright, so we can do that, that, and that, and that, and just start beating on him. Is it going to do anything? Am I just going to, like, aggro him to death? Alright, well, I mean, if you're not going to do anything, I'm just going to dump all of my damage dealers right out there. And I've got three left. Mmm... We're gonna shuffle. Hold on a second. Which one's that one? That one's Z. G. Go away. Ah, there we go. Are you gonna do 10 damage? Yeah. Alright. If you want. We're gonna do 23 damage, cause you're dumb. You're dummy, dumb, dumb. 
All right, so we've got five. We'll do this, that. You go there, you go there. That's fine. And... 19 damage. Don't care. Okay, so, um, everybody gets plus two. Well, that's gonna end the game. And you're gonna go there and destroy him. And you're gonna go there like that, and he's gonna be stumbled. Bye-bye. And removed from the game. And then you are removed from the game, almost. Okay, uh, all characters get plus three. Then we'll do you. And we'll pay that. And there we go. Okay, so everybody gets plus three. Everybody gets another plus three. And I win. Doesn't matter. Didn't hurt. Didn't hurt. Hurt a little bit. But I still won. So, didn't hurt that much. Meh. I mean, it is just an AI. But that's okay. I just I don't have a lot of time to wait for um, people to be found. So let's go there. Let's go with uh, mechanical balance because I didn't play that one, and I have no idea what it does. So we're gonna try it out. Um, we need to deploy the drone. Target has plus three plus three. Target character gets plus two plus two becomes an artificial in addition to other subtypes. And, well, we'll just go ahead and deploy that. Pay one, sacrifice the deployed artificial, and you get her. Oh, I didn't have to pay one for that, did I? Nope. Okay. Well, she can't go back in there. Uh, target character gains plus six. Support drone. Don't really want to put anything out right now, so we'll wait. Alright, at the end of each turn, if inspiring soldiers on the battlefield, the opponent loses three more out. Well, we'll just go ahead and do that. Oh, she's got something out now. Um, so we'll play that. We'll play that and give that to him. Well, that was a good use of that. What is that? Uh, Rethal's Sacrifice if he returns to the graveyard. Oh, he gets to do that over and over again. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll play that. Protector Bot. Protector Bot, there we go. And then... Give him plus six. And put him out and see what she does. So we're just gonna boost this guy up a whole bunch and see if we can't capitalize on that, but she is... she is doing some building of her own. Um, not sure how to counter that. What's this? Do five damage to three characters on the battlefield. You may target the same unit more than once. Okay, so it has to be on the battlefield. Um, Unmanned Aerial Destroyer. Fantastic. Alright, you go out there. Okay, so we will have to kill her. Alright, let's see if we can sacrifice a creature and put it over there. But I, what I want to do is this. You, you, you. Gone. Okay, and then you. Oh, you put out all your friends. Crap. But I put my friends out too. Hua! Okay. Um, comes equal to its health. Ooh. So if I do this on that guy and then put that guy out, and then make him untouchable. That would be good. Except he is going to die because that guy does 20 damage. Holy crap. And wiped out. And he didn't actually get that ability because I put fucking untouchable on it because I'm an idiot. 
Ah. All right, go over there. All right, let's consider this here. You go there because you're flying. You come out, we pay one. So we're gonna choose an artificial to sacrifice. You're not an artificial. So we sacrifice. We mechanize you. Can't sacrifice you this time, so you need to come back over here. You could pay that. Activate. Sac oh, that's not artificial either, is it? Uh, no, it's actually a character human. Alright, well, we'll save that guy then. Really? You're not doing anything? Okay. 41 damage. I would have won if I hadn't been such an idiot. Okay, so now we can activate that. Sack that to that. Pop that out. Uh, no, unless she kills that, we're good. So we'll pop that out just in case. And in planning. Okay, so that's a 27, and she death raided that one. So not much I can do without that, but we, it looks like we're going to tie it. No, we won with two health! Wow! Okay. Well, if I hadn't made that untouchable, I would have kicked way more ass. But that's okay. A win is a win. You gotta just learn from my mistakes. Your spells affect your players globally. So if you if you make something untouchable, it's not just untouchable to you; it's untouchable to them. So what I should have done is played that card and then played untouchable, and it would have gone in order. Got it. Okay. So we're going to do Flame Dawn. And you know what? I'm actually going to do Cult of Warhe, And we're going to do Scavenge the Dead for a little bit of fun. And see what we can do with that. I think that'll be fun. This sounds like a fun combination to me. Um, We'll go ahead and put this out. And start eating um, her away. Why not? All right, so you're poisoned, and we can put you out and poison. I don't think they can die from poison, so I guess we'll poison her. Let's do some, some little bit of damage. She comes back, though. That kind of sucks. Okay, poisoned. And then we'll play this, this, and we'll just aggro some damage to her. That'll be fun. And then... What do we do here? I think we go for... this... and this... and in planning. Ah, you wasted a death ray on that? Really? That's expensive. Oh, we killed her! Oh good, it does kill. Fantastic. Okay. Um Yeah, we want that out. We want that to get killed. We're going to save that one. We'll put that out. And Ooh, choose one 1010 10 demon. Draw 3 cards. Place target card in your deck in your hand. Deal 10 damage to a character. Raise character to your support zone. So you went with a 1010 10 demon. Got it. Um, what do you do again? No, not you. Uh, let's see. At the end of each turn, if it's three chapters, all deployed characters. Got it. Fantastic. We'll put you out. Put you there and you there. And we're just going to get beat on. Oh, you had another one of those. Ouch. That sucks. Well, you are going to die next turn if you can't stop me. <laughs> um, boom. I can stop you, friend. And there. Bye bye. And I win. We're gonna play this one again. 
Um, I want to play this bot again, and I want to play this hand again and see how different it is. And then I'm going to have to actually wrap this up. I, know, I told you it was going to be a short one. Um, it's just a very busy day. Mondays are always very busy days for me. And I do love this deck. I might have to see what it would cost to actually build one of these decks. Okay, so we didn't get as good of a starting hand, but it's not a terrible one. So what's his deal again? Um, come on, give it. Zombie Abomination is reduced the number of characters in your graveyard. So if I have a whole bunch of people die, that's good. Play that card. Go, go, Gadget, go. All right. Yeah, we're not going to use that one anytime soon. Thank you, though. We'll play that one. Put these guys out and just start aggro beating. See if you're going to defend yourself at all. No. Oh, that's the card we want. I don't think we want to do that one just yet, though. Let's put that out. Let's put that out. And in planning. So we'll have five next time. I guess we'll play this one and then go there. Top seven cards to play some destroyed to play creature. Um, raise target character from to your support zone. Okay. We'll end it there. Not going to put anything out? No defense whatsoever. Okay. Well, well, we'll just create a whole bunch of zombies and just keep beating on your home. Oh, you're going to death beam it. Well, that's fine. Look at that. You see all those? You see what I'm doing, do you? You don't, do you? Um, oh, cancel. You're not on the battlefield. You really should get on the battlefield, you know. It's the way to go. Let's put all these guys out there in the defense zone. We're just going to create more. Boom. Just more. Just more of everything. Okay. Boop, 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 ba doop, ba doop, ba doop. And 22 damage. Alright. Okay. And now we'll play that. Put you guys out. Yeah, like that. And then that. And then that. And there. Oh, you got a little flying guy. That guy looks cool. Let's take a look at that and see what your cards are. But we're going to win. Regardless. No, I don't want to read the card. I want to read the card. Ah, shit. I wouldn't let me read the card. Don't know why. Well, once again, a very quick one. You know what? What time is it? Ah, we'll do one more. One more Cultivory Scavenge the Dead combo. See if she can last a little bit longer, but I have my doubts. Okay, yeah. This is gonna be a problem for you. Start killing that guy off. In turn. Okay. Um. Just do that. Boom. Punchy punch. Alright, so we got these bloodthirsty dudes and that guy. That works. And that guy's almost dead already? No integrity whatsoever, guys. Come on, put up a fight. You can do it. I believe in you. I don't. Six damage. And dead. Ooh, the Death Eater. No, oh, stop it. Guess who's coming out to play? And there we go. Drew two cards. Still punched you to death. Okay, um, we'll play that one, and then we'll play that one. Death Eater can go there, so maybe it'll kill something this round. I don't know why she does such slow build-up. Create a whole bunch of zombies. And... Okay. So maybe she can live three more rounds. I doubt it, though. Not at this rate. Not willing to sacrifice anything? 
I'm putting everything in the defense zone on purpose to make this last longer, and it's still not working. All right. Oh, we got more of those. Fantastic. We'll let it resolve the turn, and then we'll read that. Uh, when you deploy Demon of Fear, you may pay X, return X characters to their controller support zone. Why didn't you do that? That's just silliness. Uh, we'll kill that. And... Um... Resurrect target character. Oh, no, that didn't work. Destroy target character on battlefield. Bye-bye! Yeah, that works. Oh, you death beamed me! No! What are you gonna- what am I gonna do? I don't know. Destroy your home, probably. Alright, we're gonna play fear. <laughs> we're gonna play fear and just hold out for the book. Alright, you can't beat me. Oh, epic. Okay, so now we play that guy. We in planning. Now it becomes funny. Okay, what is that? Does that have flying? Flying character, demon of gluttony, 8-8. Eight, eight. This ability can only be used once per turn. Did I get anything that's flying? I don't know. But I can kill it. We'll do that. Continue. Um, put her out. Let's just start dumping everything in there. Just a massive death pool. What is that? Scavenge. As you turn, battlefield scavenger is defense row. Draw a card. Oh, well, you can go over there then. You're a defense specific creature, so you go into defense land. We're just going to dump the rest of you guys in here. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, boop. Boop. In turn. Okay. You get a 10-10 demon. Deal the damage. Still didn't matter because that guy died. And I still am going to do way more damage than you can handle. 46. It would have been even more epic, but she did the whole spirit bomb thing. Alright. Well, that was just silliness. Got a whole bunch of XP. Um, yay! I can't wait to face Goo again. That's gonna be fun. I kind of thought the decks, the pre-made bots, or the the um, constructed decks that they they provide, the test decks, would have changed. But I guess not. Maybe maybe not in time. Mm, maybe it's not the week in-game time. Maybe that's how they measure it. I don't know. If you guys enjoyed this, click the like button. Comment suggestions or decks you want to see me work towards, throw those in the comment section below. And if you have any other feedback, I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, click that good old subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you awesome people next time. Now, we uh, deflect on Genesis Construct. Okay. Lightning Blast, that guy. Move Unending Drone to defense. And that should be it.